as soon as I start to catch Nate in like a guillotine where his arm is involved, there's gonna be a variety of different kinds of chokes that we can execute. A variety of guillotines, arm in guillotines, anaconda chokes, and darces. So when he kind of shoots, we're gonna go really slow. So he shoots in, I snap him into this position. And then before he can take me down, I'm able to kind of sprawl, okay? Keeping my hands together, I'm already thinking about not lining myself up straight with his spine. I want to go a little bit off to the angle like we talked about before, okay? Now, keep in mind, I went for a, just a grip right here. I want to change that into the vice grips as soon as I can, okay? So when he failed on the single leg and I just caught his head in his arm, right? Now, this hand right here is going to connect to the vice grips just like we did before, okay? Now, here's the part that's going to be a little bit different than the other video, the other clip. I'm going to take my right knee over here, and what it's going to look to do, you guys, is it's going to look to go on the outside somewhere of Nate's tricep area and slowly push that in towards his head, and that's going to allow the Darce truck to sink, okay? So when we're here, go ahead and flare it out for me, maybe. When we're here and I caught that, I got to the vice grips. Now watch, I put my head down, I walk my left knee in, and that allows my right knee to go over the top. When my right knee goes over to the top, guys, there's a lot of power like this, okay? Now I'm gonna put that in, and my hands are gonna go about four inches that way, okay? If I'm squeezing at my tightest, I'm not gonna be able to move my hands. I gotta keep the grip together and go like that. So this part of my wrist is on Nate's neck, and when I go like that, I'm gonna feel the bicep touch. So I'm here, I move the leg in, and now I pull it over to the other side. How do I know I did it right? My wrist is now molding to the back of Nate's neck, like we talked about. So now I know if I run my shoulder into Nate, I'm gonna be able to put his arm where it needs to be, underneath this armpit, pressing into his neck, and I'm gonna be able to go from the vice grip to the rear naked choke. So I end up here, Ooh, I feel that everything is in place now. I lock it in and I'll start to sprawl onto my chest through his tricep onto his neck. So let's put it all together slow from standing slow motion. He shoots, right? And I'm able to catch everything and get to a sprawling type position, okay? I have regular grip. I'm gonna take my knee and it's gonna start to knock in as I feed, okay? And then in this particular situation, his arm already went in so far, I might even pull him back. We switch right here, start walking in. It just kind of depends. If he, if he shoots his arm through that deep, I might just go with the flow and roll underneath him, okay? If he keeps trying to come up on top of me, I'm probably gonna sprawl, knock him over, stay on top, okay? So even from here, he's on the, go ahead and just grab the legs. Boom, and I'm here, okay? I'm gonna look to get my hands like this as quickly as, can, as you can. Sometimes I'll just catch him like this, okay? And now look, move your left knee in. That'll allow your right knee to go over the top. And you have power like this. Boom, I'm gonna move his arm in, and now I know I can shift. Once I shift, I'm gonna push him, and everything is the same as the first clip.